Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to have the API calls, whatever the API calls we are making for the posts, view details, edit details, and delete posts. These are all the API calls we are making, right? So we need to make those API calls to work only when we are sent when we have the auth token with us. So that means for that API calls, in order to work, we need to send the auth token, auth token to that API. So let's try to see in this video. Now here, if I try to click on the post, now I am able to get the post details. So if I'm going into the sign up or login somewhere, and if I am coming again here into the post, I'm able to call the XHR request. So for example, if I try to refresh this page, now you'll be able to see one second. So now I'm able to call the post.json and I'm able to get the data, right? So now I'm able to get the data. Now what I want to do is, so here I need to, I need to I need to make the user to pass the token with this along with this uh, API call so to work only when the user has a token now let's try to do this one so in order to make this uh, API URL to work what we need to do is we need to go here and here we need to make it as auth is not equal to null so that when the user is authenticated only he will be able to access our data now if I try to publish this one as soon as if you try to see here so if you go home post and it will work so for example if i try to click on the post okay now you'll be able to see that it is an unauthorized now i am not able to get the data why because so we need to pass the token so in order to pass the token where we can get the token by logging in we will be able to get the token so leela web dev at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this is my password and login if as soon as i logged in so I, now I will be able to have the token in my Redux store. So if I click on the post post.json, still I am getting the unauthorized. So what we need to do, we need to pass the token here. How how can we how we can pass the token? Let's try to see. Here, if you go to the post.json post.js file, so here is the place where we are getting where we are calling the get post section. So if you go to this get post section, so there is nothing but the post section. So here we are making everything. Ajax calls. So here, these are the services what we are trying to do. So for these services, what we need to do is we need to send the token. So how we can send the token? Here in the Redux Thunk dispatch, you will be also getting another one. Uh, another one means another parameter that is nothing but the get state. So we are uh, working on the get post state. Right? So here we have already written the get state. And if you try to print this get state, so console.log what could be the state so it is as it is a function so we will call it like this and if you try to see the console output okay if i go to the home and if i try to call it again you are not able to get the details right so now i will refresh it again entirely so here you will be able to see the post and the auth right i am able to see the post and the auth now what i will do if i log in here lila web dev at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so login if i try to log in and if i go to the post page see here now the auth data we are able to see and the token also we are able to get the token now what i will try to do is here i can do in a such a way that constant state is equal to get state okay and here i can write constant token is equal to state dot auth dot sorry auth dot auth dot id token so i am able to get the token now i will pass this token to here now if i pass this token to here now what i will try in the, in the get post the service now i am getting the token here so i am getting the token and now what i will try to do so here i can write such that such that so i can pass the token by passing the token now let's try to see output so i am I am refreshing this page as we need to refresh the page. <clears throat> so I am logging here and I will do Leela web dev at the rate gmail.com and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. This is the password. Now, if I go to the network and if I click on login, we are able to successfully log in. And if I go to the post C, now I am calling the auth token. So we are able to get successfully the data. Right. So now we are able to pass the token. So what we need to do, so wherever we are calling the Axios, we need to pass the token. Okay, fine. So let's try to add the token each and every places. Okay, so each and every places I am adding the token. 
and now what we need to do is so just copy this one and just paste it as the query parameter for every URL okay so this is how we are making the token so now we need to pass the token everywhere where we are using these methods so right now we are using in the post section let's go here and let's copy these two files these are the two files right so coming from the top this is the delete post request and here you will be getting the dispatch and the get state okay now i can paste it here and i can pass the token to here okay now uh, this is also create post sorry what i can do is so this is the thing i need to copy and i can paste it here and the token i can pass it here that's it for the create post also finish get post already we did and delete post request so oh yeah update so delete we already did it I think. here we need to write and here get state we need to do and the token also we can copy it okay so this is how we are we have did this one so let's try to refresh and let's try to see the output so whether it will work or not i okay, will refresh the page i think hopefully it should work without any errors yeah so i'm going to the login dilawebdev at the rate gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine zero i'm clicking on the login okay i'm going to the post page successfully we are able to get the post and now what i will try to do is i will try to check the view details we are able to check the view details also and this view details also it is passing the token not a problem and i am clicking on the edit details i am updating the edit details here so it is successfully updating also i am creating a new post I am creating a new post, it is successfully creating and I am trying to delete the post, it is also getting deleted. So now everything we have did through auth token. So for every action we are able to send the auth token. Right, so this is how we will be sending the token request. So when uh, to the post thing. So as you observe here, one thing you will be able to find. So all the time for every dispatch I am, I am doing the get state, I am sending the token. And in the post service we are using the token and these are all the things we are writing right so instead of writing these all the thing so why can't you use the interceptors so axios interceptors so we we have learned about the concept axios interceptors right so why can't you use this interceptor concept or also we have learned the middleware also so if you are if you are following my series we have learned about the store middleware also whenever we are dispatching an action so in mid in middle of the store.js if you move to the store.js okay so here we have learned something fetch data middleware and this logger middleware these middlewares when the when these are executed for every action whenever a store is getting an action means these type of middlewares which will be getting executed so in this middleware we can write that though so yeah we are getting some action we are getting some ajax urls and all those things means just modify the url or other just modify the url whatever the url you are getting from this action just update the url so like that also we can do it so through middleware also you can do it or otherwise so middleware is in a uh, thing so why because we cannot use it why because we are using the axios as the middle as the intermediate for calling the data so what i can use here we can use the axios interceptors so using this axios interceptors we can update the query param we can add the query parameters before making a request so that these all the state got get state and these are token and everything we, we can write in the interceptors to get the token and there we can append it to the url so every request when you are making through the axios means we can make the query parameters so i hope you understood about this interceptors concept so we will try to do this interceptors concept in the next video so for by then what we can say is so in order to pass the author authentication to so each and every url means we can do this type of process or otherwise in the advanced process if you want miss we will do it in the using the inter axios interceptors also let's try to do it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.